What's up, you guys? Byron Rogers here, and I'm sitting here looking at a new equation as we enter 2021. Ammo is extremely difficult to find. Weapons are extremely different, difficult to find, and they're ridiculously expensive as wartime profiteering seems to be the norm at your local gun shop. What can protectors do to learn how to defend and protect what they love in today's climate? How can we leverage the things that we have access to or that we already have in order to stay willing, capable, and prepared? I looked at the approach to the Protector Symposium, volume three, in order to try and solve this very relevant and very salient problem. The reality is, that these days, what can we bring to the game as protectors that everyone can benefit from? From the single mother at home, all the way up to the tier one asset or the SEB uh, or SWAT member on your local police force. How can we help serve the protection demographic that will be there to bring on scene accountability in the world when evil rears its ugly head? right? So naturally, what is it that we have at our disposal? Our hands. What are we able to acquire with little to no effort? Weapons, handheld weapons, knives, blades, and things of that nature. So those are going to be the focus for the Protector Symposium, Volume 3. And as always, we have a power-packed cast of subject matter experts coming at you this year for this first event. Once again, it's gonna be something the world has never seen before. Last year, we focused on a framework with the Protector Symposiums that would help you be in a position to have a conversation with a subject matter expert that would help you increase your IQ, the software of your IQ. And the symposiums that we have done in the past have done that very well. And we've brought high level instructors to you to do that. But we also, had a hard skills intensive that was amazing, right? Where we pressed the flesh and we, we, we fought and we bled and we cried and we worked together to ingest and acquire the skills necessary to really understand what we can do to protect ourselves and our loved ones. With this next Protector Symposium, Volume 3, I'm extremely excited because we are now going to do something once again that the industry has never seen before, a fusion of hard skills and soft skills, you guessed it, in one event. Boom, four power-packed days of soft skills and hard skills, symposium, auditorium, and mat room, field craft centric hands-on training that you can only get at this event. The synergy of instructors we have at this event, I don't believe has ever been done before and may never happen again. This is going to be another once in a lifetime, amazing protector event. So don't miss it. Check it out. We've got Tom Kyer. He's a master at Sayoc Cali night fighting skills and tactics. He him and his cadre had a hand in the movie The Departed and the choreography for the night fighting scenes in that legendary night fighting movie. Tom Kyer has been operating at the highest levels for years now, um, teaching a lot of the cool guy groups that mean you only watch movies about. And he's got an extremely down to earth, real world doctrine that uh, gives him access to those, those teaching to teach those groups that he's going to be bringing to all of us, both in the symposium format and then also in a two day hands on training event. Uh, this man has an amazing following with great people because he teaches amazing content. I am genuinely honored that he agreed to come and share his wealth of knowledge with all of us at this event. Next up, we've got the infamous Tony Blauer. He came to us during the Protector Symposium Volume 2, and his wisdom and knowledge is something I've never seen before. He understands protection psychology, fear psychology, then what and the startle flinch and what it takes to protect yourself on so many inner psychic, scientific, biochemical, and 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 and, and psychological levels. He's been in the game for almost my entire life. 
but he's still dangerous and he's still teaching protectors at the highest level all over the world. All these guys are. We're bringing you the highest pedigree of information straight to a place where we can actually also have access. Tony Blauer is actually, in my opinion, a living legend. Individuals with the amount of skills and training that are studied on so many different levels simply don't exist in this space from what I've seen before. He is going to give us an in-depth understanding of the psychology behind his sphere doctrine. And really, it's the weaponization of what you naturally have in your body, the startle reflex that you naturally uh, uh, jump to when you are, when you're scared, right? So how do you weaponize the tools you already have? This is going to be the aim of this symposium. Everything we teach, once again, is going to be applicable to every human being, regardless of background and vocation or even physical capabilities. So we are honored to have Tony at this event. Next up, we have another living legend. Do you expect anything less at this point? Tim Larkin has been in the game for decades, most of my lifetime as well, teaching professionals at the highest levels of this game. He teaches a self-defense doctrine that's called target-focused training. And this is essentially based on much of the psychology behind his book, When Violence is the Answer. And honestly, in this book, if you haven't gotten it, get it. Uh, it talks about violence in depth and a number of different topics around violence and how it relates to the civilian in their everyday life, right? But what we learn is that much of violence is a race to cause the highest amount of damage to your attacker uh, the quickest. Essentially, you versus someone else, whoever causes the highest amount of damage wins that physical altercation. Tim has been teaching these very effective techniques uh, for years to those who really need them out in the field. And we're gonna bring that to you at this upcoming Protector Symposium, Volume 3. It's an honor to have Tim on the team. And honestly, with this cast, I really could not ask for more. Boom, and this just in, we're gonna have Yusuf Badu coming back to teach the soft skills left of Bang Theory. How do you recognize who's who in the zoo? How do you recognize dangerous people? The art of reading body language, the art of situational awareness, the art of understanding who you need to pay attention to in your environment so you can stay ahead of violence and left of bang. He teaches these skills to all of the major players out there in combat and he teaches these skills to civilians. This is one of the most important skills you can have, important softwares you can have if you're going to be a protector. Last but not least, we're gonna go with Jason Johnson, the professional knife thrower, and he's gonna be teaching close quarters disassembly and implemented throwing. Jason's known as the guy that can throw knives like a stinking, like a dream, like supernatural. He's like the Randy Johnson of knife throwing. However, what most people don't know is Jason's also been traveling the United States and teaching elite groups close quarters disassembly. How do you, in violence, the game is who can cause the most catastrophic damage to neutralize the target the quickest. Jason is a professional at this. I trained with him during one of Ed Calderon's classes and what he teaches is one of the most visceral and savage arts of uh, knife fighting and close quarters disassembly that I have ever seen. It's brutal, it's ruthless, it's a fusion of a number of different arts. It's got some uh, Miyamoto Musashi, Shingman Miyamoto Musashi uh, uh, theories and energy in it. It's, it's something that I've never seen before and so it's an honor to bring him to the game. Not only is he teaching guys at the top of the game, but he's also got something that I, I think that the world and the good people in this world will really, really benefit. The, the caveat to that is he's also uh, a grandmaster of throwing knives and throwing blades. And the question obviously is, is that something that has tactical application? If it does have tactical application, where does it have tactical application? And do you need to become a guru or magical ninja at it? Or is it something that you can teach anyone? And, and where does that fit in on the spectrum of violence when you're actually in a close quarters engagement? I've had many conversations with him and worked with him, and Jason can teach anyone who's willing to learn how to be efficient and effective at actually impaling someone with a, by throwing a knife. And also he's got 
all the foundations of really what it takes to win when you're using a blade. We're gonna do things the world has never seen before at this event. So you're gonna get two days with him uh, in the panel the first day, just like everyone else, in the auditorium the second day, and then we're gonna go hands-on and he's gonna teach us the art of close quarters disassembly and how to uh, implement throwing a blade into uh, the spectrum of your combat-centric tools. We're gonna go straight into the, the, to the auditorium, we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn the soft skills, we're gonna fellowship, we're gonna get to know each other. We're gonna be one big family for this event. And then we're gonna go to the mat room and we're gonna bang and we're gonna get bruised up and we're gonna sweat together. And if you're someone in the world right now who is either gonna be faced with uh, needing to employ the art of protection to uh, your job at work, or you're aware of the reality that any day you leave the house, any day that you're on your way somewhere, or even while you're at your house, we have basic needs, food, water, shelter, various things, but you also need to understand the art of protection. And during these uncertain times, as we face the changes that we face in the world, and especially in American culture, protection is becoming more and more of a salient and pertinent and necessary thing for us to be able to, to wield and implement in our lives in order to stand for and protect what it is we love. I cannot wait to enjoy this event and train with every single one of you. This is Byron Rogers, protector by nature and by trade, reminding you to be peaceful, but not harmless. Out, boom!